Aloha friends, it is nice to be back with you guys once again and this morning I wanted to show you guys how I clean my coach purses. So let's get started. Okay, so how I clean my coach purses is just basically spot clean because um, when I showed you guys a video of all my, my purse collections, um, people have asked how I clean it. And so this is what the video is for, for those that, that you that have asked. And then also I had mentioned that I do take care of my purses, uh, whether it's Coach or La Sport Sack or Kipling, those are only like the three, that, that I, the three brands that I do have. I always spot clean it before I put it away. And then also as a, um, as a ritual for me, what I use, always do is clean out my purse so every time I switch out my purse which happens about every month or every two months I don't think I've ever used a purse for more than for more than three months at a time only because I feel that when I do switch it out it allows me to maintain my purse with a better quality um, it gives it a rest kind of thing so so that's um, that's how I do it and then also every time I switch out my purse, I make sure to take out everything that's inside the purse. And then I, I shake it upside down to get everything out. And then when I say I spot clean it, I usually use a baby wipe inside. So with kids, I always have baby wipes. And then what I will do is inside the purse, I'll just randomly just wipe it down because sometimes you know pen marks do get in there and then that's also something that I'm very um, I make myself very aware that when I do have pens and then I notice that the pens are open I always um, close it to make sure that the the ballpoint pen is not showing and that's one thing um, one of the things that you can do to make sure um, that your inside purse stays clean because the, the pens do leave a mark just like this one right here, that's a pen mark, and it's very hard, or not just very hard, but maybe it's not even able to come off. So, I just wipe it off easily, as much as I can. And then also what I do is that if it is really dirty inside, I have a little tub of water, and then what I use is my laundry detergent and I always have um, I always have the clear ones because my kids have um, eczema so I can't use the uh, the scented the scented um, laundry detergent so this works perfectly well for these and then I have my daughter's little handy wipe because I can't find a, um, a a washcloth for you guys this morning but then I just run it through you know and it's nice because it's clear so get a little soap in here and then rinse it out make sure it's not so wet and then if it's really dirty like I said then I go inside it and then I do I wipe around and you have to be careful because of the fact that it is leather on the outside you don't want to um, you don't want to overdo it with the soap and the water. Then I turn my pockets inside out like that. I've had this purse for about gosh five years now, but as you can tell, it's not too dirty at all, and that's because of um, regular maintenance. Every time you use it, and every time you're done with it. Okay, and then what I'll also do is get my baby wipe if it's still clean. Sorry, I'm outside. But this is the part that always gets um, the most dirt on it because you lay it down on the ground or such. And that's something I try not to do is just lay it on the ground. If anything, it's always on my lap or hanging on the side of a chair. But you just wipe it down. And baby wipes work for me really well. I've done this also with the leather. They do have um, leather cleaners for bags, but I've never bought one. It's just 
like this little mark right here. Just get a baby wipe. See? And it's gone. And then the shoulders are always a good area to clean because your your hand, your arm is constantly on it with the sweat in your arm or um, dirt. So it's nice to wipe it down after each use. Really easy. As long as you um, maintain a, a regular cleaning habit of um, taking care of your purses, especially expensive ones. Um, I buy my purses at the outlet. But still, even with this purse, I think this purse cost me $124. It's still pricey and you'd want to take care of it so it lasts longer. Just wipe it down and see how dirty my baby wipes got. So get another one. And then I like to wring it out for the outside leather. You don't want that excess um, moisture in there, but really and now it's nice and clean. And then, so I'm just gonna let this air dry out for a few minutes. And then what I always do is I have my handy dandy downy. Now I use downy sheets for, of course, the laundry, but I use it for everything as well. I, I put it into my um, garbage um, container at the very bottom before you put on the plastic because downy smells so good. But I'll also put a sheet in here once it's dry so that when I do put it away and it's stored for a few months or even a year, depending on when's the next time I'm going to use it, it's going to leave a very refreshing scent. So it works out for me. Now let me show you guys how I clean the cloth version um, of my, my bags. All right, so here is one of my dirtiest purse. So I I think this was the last one I used before changing out to my new one. And with this one, as you can tell, it's, um, to me it's really dirty at the bottom. Um, I haven't cleaned this this out yet since, um, since last using it. But the inside is still, you know, pretty, not so dirty, but I've, all, I've also shaken it out. And how I clean this one is a little bit different than that. It's still spot clean. I still get my baby wipes. And, you know, I still go inside. And it's nice because these are bigger, so it opens up a lot wider than, um, than the small ones I have. So I use a baby wipe, and then I also use the cloth, especially on the shoulder, like I said. Um, it gets really dirty around the, um, the straps part. But um, because it is cloth, what I also do is um, get an old toothbrush and then just mix it in with the, um, get some water and the, the laundry detergent soap. And then I'll, I'll wet it for a little bit, wring out the excess from the cloth and wipe it down. And with the cloth, you can be a little bit more, um, more rough than the leather and have a bit more water to it or soap. But then I'll get my brush and then I'll start scrubbing. Now, a friend of mine, um, I saw her clean her purse. And she uses um, a product called Blue Coral. You can find it at Target or Walmart and it's at their car maintenance section. And the reason she uses it is because it's like this. It gets um, her purse that she was cleaning was really dirty. Um, and it was a cloth one. So she sprayed it and let it sit for a bit. And then she just wiped it down with a cloth. Um, I'm going to show you guys a picture of that product along with this video. So if your purse is really dirty, then you can, um, you can check it out.
But with me, you know, um, like I said, this is one of my dirtiest purse. This one, this one seems to be doing an okay job. It's getting all the, um, the dirt out for me. My neighbor's getting her house painted, so that's what you guys hear on the background are the painters working on their um, ladders. I just wipe it down. And I can't even see any dirt on onto the cloth. So that's why I know it is, you know, it is dusty, but I don't think it's really, really filthy dirty. Once I'm done cleaning this, I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to store it right away. You'd want to make sure that air dries out. But just put a little, <coughs> excuse me, just put a little elbow grease in there. Just do a little scrubbing. I'm noticing it's a little, it's getting better. And then it's going to have like a darker look to it because it is wet. But once it dries out, then you can tell that your hard work really paid off of um, cleaning it. And then during the around the leather area, just wipe it down. You don't want to do too much scrubbing on the leather part. And again, get your pockets. Wipe it down. So I hope this helps you guys out of um, how to clean your purse. Like I said, the Blue Coral is really a good product. I've seen it work with my friend's purse um, for the ones that's really, really dirty. And she doesn't recommend it with the leather, but with the cloth ones like this, they're called the Signature Collection. Um, she was using it and it did work really nice. Shake it. And then get my dryer sheet. That will go in there. And already it smells so good. But yeah, see I'm pretty happy with it. That's nice and clean. And that is how I clean my purses and before I store them. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again. Mahalo.